In this UI design tutorial, I am going to show you a simple technique which you can apply to create interfaces like this. So you can see over here, here we have an ellipse or oval and you can see over here, it is blending with the background and it has a blending gradient. You can see we can apply it in UI design for your uh, digital car dashboards and uh, things like that. You can see over here, Two or three months ago, one of my students, she asked me that how you can apply such kind of effects. So today I'm going to use Adobe XD. You can do the same in Photoshop and Sketch. So I just really did the same exercise in Sketch on my iMac over there, but I cannot show you right now. So I am going to stick with Adobe XD right now. Technique is the same. We are going to use a gradient. So let's get started. I am going to go with a new file. So i um, just going to create this web. You can create any artboard. We are going to zoom in and uh, we are going to select this and fill this with some dark color. So I'm going to start with some uh, uh, HSB value of 210 and I am going to go with a darker background over here. We are going to go very close to black but not black. Okay, so here we have our artboard set up. Uh, so we are going to start with an ellipse, draw an ellipse and um, center align it. We are uh, actually uh, in Adobe X3 right now we can, cannot apply uh, over here the gradient to the border. So I'm going to you know sub subtract two shapes. In Sketch and Adobe X3 you can apply gradients to your border. So in that, you can use that and just, um, it's easier in, in there. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. Let's remove the border first. So I'm going to duplicate command control D and you can see we have this 482. So we are going to lock the aspects ratio and we are going to go with the 470, something like this. Let's see what is the difference between both of them. So we are going to align them uh, like this, like this. Okay, so let's make it a bit more smaller, 466, maybe something like this. Okay, so we are done. Let's select both of them and we are going to use this exclude overlap. Okay, so we have, uh, we are left with this circle right now. Okay, so a bordered circle, there is nothing inside it and we are going to use this one. So once we have this, you can see now we have fill over here. So rather than applying border, we are going to use this fill and we are going to start with this hue of 210, oops. Okay, so we are going to go with linear gradient. So linear gradient, you are going to select whether it's Photoshop, Sketch or Adobe XD, whatever it is. We are going to use linear gradient. Let's position it like this. Mm, like this make sure these dots they are on the top of these lines so if we if we try to move it uh, uh, away from this one it is not going to give that effect so we are going to get three points over here you can see this is the lighter one this is the lightest so we are going to give it a color which is going to be very bright very sharp okay so sharp colors will be in this corner uh, in the right top corner you can see brightness and saturation is Good, let's move it over here somewhere. Okay, so we have one color set. Now the next color will be also the same, 210. We are going to use the same hue and we are going to get a little bit of darker color. So we are going to go somewhere here. Okay, and the last color is going to be the same color as this background. So we are going to color pick over here like this. So you can see this is a cool effect. You can use that in any kind of UI design, your websites, your dashboards, your uh, car UIs or things like that. So if you want to adjust it, you can see you can do something like this. And if you want to have more stops, you can have more stops and copy the same color. It is 210 actually. Oops, so we have the background color to be 24. 204, no, it's 210. Make sure we have the same colors, 210, yes, and then 210. 
So you can see it is looking really great. Now we are going to fill in some, some other stuff like uh, we have total transactions, things like that. Let's choose San Francisco display font and I'm going to have some separation in it. Let's increase the size to be 2030 like this total transactions and we are going to uh, pick up the color that is going to be 210 and it is going to be somewhere over here like that so let's zoom in it is right now 50 percent maybe you cannot see it uh, actually let's have some color like this we are not going to go with a lot of sharp sharp color over here and then we are going to have something very bold and big let's duplicate it alt or option key and drag and we are going to have our 4 million transactions hmm, something like this i'm not going to you know go with where uh, the commas are actually for our so we are going to have something white very white so the main information is this one let's go with a bit heavier font and uh, let's have some more space in it let's increase the size to 48 47 let's let it be 47 we're going to center line everything and let's place it a bit over here okay so let's zoom out and see what it actually looks like so uh, this is great you can uh, you know uh, use this effect to create the same uh, the, uh, the same ui for your car dashboard so let's uh, replicate this one i'm going to group them and move it over here and let's replicate it and we are going to now create a car dashboard so here we have speed and here we have like 102 miles per hour i'm not sure how it actually looks so let's make it a bit smaller let's use miles over here rather than having m okay so we can have something like this let's make it a bit more bigger Oops. let's try 64 72 because this is our main information so i we can use it bigger like this Let's make it closer to this one. Now one thing you are going to do different over here is you are going to select this gradient over here and we are going to move it like this. So here we have like 90 degree, something like this. So it, it is, you know, in this direction. So darker will be on the bottom and more uh, sharper color will be at the top. So we can also have something like this let's align it on the left and see how it looks let's make it a bit more bigger like this so you get the idea you can create some other uh, stuff like that you can have some different colors if you want to just try to change the hue over here and let's go with the screen 184 let's change 184 over here 184 over here but you can see we cannot change this one because it is merging with the background so just keep it like this so you can see uh, let's change this color <laughs> this is the one we left with so we are going to go with 184 like that so here we have it we also can change the font over here let's use light over here like this like this 
So you can see we can apply the same effect uh, on a lot of different sections and different interfaces. And it is a very simple technique. Just you need to learn that how to create this gradient. Very sharp and bright color, very saturated. Then we have a bit darker color and then dark most color which is going to match this background. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and lesson. If you have any questions, you can post them in the comments and I will keep on creating these kind of videos. See you soon in another video.